Hi guys and welcome back to another Sonic Academy tech tip. In this one we're going to show you how to quickly add in um, an exciter into your project. And this is one of these plugins that uh, brightens up your whole track. It adds a bit of uh, distortion and color to the high end of your track. And it's a very good thing to just um, throw in at the end and to just uh, lift the whole thing up. So first of all, what I'm going to do is create, um, I'm going to use the, the new disco tutorial as an example for this. So I'm just going to loop around the middle section here. Okay, so this is the, the track that we're going to brighten up. So I'm going to right click and insert a return track at the bottom. And I'm going to rename this Exciter. And then we're going to go into Lives Devices and we're going to go and grab an EQ8. Drop it into this exciter. And then if we just grab any one of these bands, turn it to a high pass, and we'll just set it at about four, three or four kilohertz. And just do a bit of a high pass on that. And then we're going to grab a saturator. Just drop that in there. So you can use one of the presets here, or um, you can feel free to just uh, mess about with it until you get something that you're happy with yourself. But I'm just going to use the a bit warmer preset and I'm going to turn the dry wet control up to 100 and then you can just mess about with the drive control until you're happy um, but we'll start sending stuff to this first so basically what you, what you want to do with this is send stuff that has a, a nice high end to it so you want to send maybe your hats you want to send a tambourine um, any sort of uh, uh, fizzy snares maybe uh, rides rides and cymbals um, anything like that there, or any sort of synth stabs that have a nice high end. So it's something that's going to come out in the, or something that's going to get through the, the high pass on the EQ, basically. So we've got our drum rack here. And in order for us to send it out of the drum rack, obviously we need to, if you've got yourself a drum rack set up, we can send individual parts. Um, I'm just going to send the whole thing, but if you wanted to send individual parts, you could do that by going down to your, um, your send and return, um, chain section at the bottom here and just insert it as a an output and then you can send it individually you can check out what the other uh tech tip that we covered on the the internal drum rack uh send and return chains so i'm going to send our drum rack to this so it's our obviously of our fifth uh return track here so i'll turn that up and i'll turn our tambourine up and then our disco hats i'll turn this up and we've got our stabs, we'll send that. Bit of an arpeggio, um, some of our cymbal crashes. Um, I'll send pr pretty much pretty much everything to it. I don't need to send our bass line. Bit of a guitar part. And then we've got Um, some 80 signs here as well. So that's pretty much everything sent to it. So now we need just need to bring the volume of this back because we only want to introduce some of it into our set. So you can see there, as you steadily increase the amount of the exciter that you introduce into the mix, and um, the brighter and uh, uh, fizzier everything gets at the, at the higher end of your your sound. So um, obviously you don't want to bring it in too much. You can sort of play about with it. If you compare it with something that's been released commercially, then you can sort of uh, get the right level of how much high end is meant to be in your mix anyway. Um, so I'm just going to play it around here. I'm going to keep it on. And then I'm going to turn it off just to show you the immediate impact that it has.
Okay, so that's it with it off. And then I'll turn it back on. So again, you can uh, experiment with the the type of uh, saturation that you're using, and you can experiment with the amount of drive you send to that as well. So you could also push up the drive and bring back the volume to get a different sound. See there how it brings a, a breath of fresh air in, into your entire mix. Okay, so I hope this tech tip helps you out with your tunes, and I'll see you again in the next tutorial.